Welcome to Applied Imagery's overview of Quick Terrain Modeler version 806. We have added many things our users have been asking for, subfolders in the layer tree, marker icons, KMZ imagery support, and more. But by far the biggest thing we've changed was under the hood. We completely revamped the way Quick Terrain Modeler handles point clouds, also known as LES, LAZ, and BPF files, which enables users to load much larger point clouds. Everything will look and feel the same, all of the analytical tools will work the same, but you might just notice that you are loading way more data than you did before. Bigger point clouds. Quick Terrain Modeler version 806 dramatically reduces the memory footprint of point clouds, also known as LES, LAZ, and BPF files. Depending on the point cloud data and what attributes are included, for example, intensity or RGB color values, the memory footprint for point clouds will be between 30 and 50% of what it used to be enabling the loading of point clouds two to three times the size in the same amount of memory. All of this should be invisible to you. All the visualizations and analytical tools work the same. QT Modeler still loads and renders every single point and you still get the effortless interaction and navigation you've come to expect from us. Layer Tree Enhancements. The Layer Tree now supports subfolders and drag and drop of items. It will be easy to organize your markers, vectors, models, and routes into subfolders, then turn them on or off as a group. Right click on a folder, for example the markers folder in the layer tree, to create a subfolder. Drag and drop items into and out of folders as needed. Marker Enhancements. Version 806 offers unlimited possibilities for marker display. We have three basic styles now, push bin, the way it has always been, text tag, and icon, which opens up a world of annotation possibilities. In icon style, you can choose any image to be the marker icon. We have included many useful icons, but you'll be able to use any image as an icon by dropping it into the QT Modeler icons folder. Smart textures. With respect to textures, which is our word for overlaid 2D imagery, Quick Train Modeler will assess the areas where multiple textures overlap and automatically display the best texture, that is the one with the highest resolution. There is no longer a need to manually organize the texture list in the layer tree to display the best texture, unless of course you want to. KMZ support. QT Modeler now supports the overlay of a wide variety of KMZ imagery, even KMZ images that consist of many small chips or tiles, like imagery from MOBAC or other applications that export to GPS devices. If possible, QT Modeler will merge the small tiles together into a single texture in the layer tree. In addition, QT Modeler will find KMZ imagery during searches for quick and easy loading. Google Earth Sync Upgrades Google Earth Continuous Synchronization has been enhanced dramatically. Now you can just click the new Google Earth Sync button to synchronize Google Earth. No need to go to Control Mode on the Control Menu. One-time Google Earth Synchronization still works by typing G on the keyboard. Furthermore, range rings, flight services, bounding boxes, and routes now automatically sync to Google Earth. That is, as you add these items in QT Modeler, they immediately appear in Google Earth. Any edits to names, folders, structures, colors, or position of these items will be immediately reflected in Google Earth. We have also added many more enhancements. Things like resizing the legend, setting display precision, enhancing volume calculations, and much more. Just give us a call, visit our website, or send us an email. We'd love to tell you all about it.